Hello everyone. Before starting of the solution of this problem, uh, I just want to share that I have recently started an OA series for all of you guys who are preparing for internship placement. Even if you are in second year or third year or fourth year, the series is very useful for you when while you are preparing for these things. Because I feel that after completing DSA and let's say partially DSA, you don't know which problems to solve and what is the thought process, or what a OA problem looks like, what you problems you are solving in day-to-day -day life right so i give a flavor of taste in these series i picked up hand-picked problems and i just deep down into it how to approach a particular problem and this is an amazing series and you're giving a good response to these series so do check it out the link is in the description and yeah stay tuned for the next episode of the way series right let's jump off to the today's question so this question is beautiful Firstly, let's try to understand the question itself. Like it took me five minutes to grasp. Okay, what the, what question is saying because I missed the initial terms. So the question says the given a board of dimension n cross m board looks like this. Okay, uh, n cross m squares. We have we have to cut it into n cross m square. It's already mentioned that we have, we have to cut into n cross m square. Means it comprises of like this kind of box, right? That we have to. Cut it into n cross m squares. Fine, fine. The cost of making a cut along a horizontal or vertical edge is provided into two arrays. Okay. So we have two arrays. Basically, you can make a vertical cut and you can make a horizontal cut. There is an anomaly in the horizontal and vertical edge, like x represent should represent an horizontal with it representing it vertical so there is some confusion but see the example and understand it right x means the 2 1 3 1 4 is the x1 and the y1 is 1 2 4 1 2 okay fine then find the min minimum total cost required to require the cut the board into squares optimally firstly i thought i have to convert into a particular square but which size don't know but they already mentioned that we have to cut into n cross m square means each square is of one cross one size they could have mentioned it but okay i should also read the problem properly you should also read the problem properly cool so we'll quickly jump off to this example only and let's try to understand what is happening so what we have to do is we have to make cuts like if we made cut like this then let's say we make cut like this okay so what is happening is this square box is separated then we make more cuts we make more cuts, we make more, and some square box will be separated, some will be remaining. Right? This is separated, this is separated. So you're getting an idea, okay, some cuts happening, and we are converting this whole thing into square boxes. Okay. And we want to minimize the cost as always, like, okay, obviously we don't need to maximize the cost, we want to minimize the cost. And these are the, uh, you can say, the cut cost for this col column, okay? Fine. Uh, okay, and then obviously there are six columns, so there are only five cuts required because when it will eventually get into two parts. Okay, now what do you think when this problem comes to your mind and it shows up you? Uh, do you able to think something? That's my first question. See, uh, when this kind of problems comes to my mind, as I initially thought, okay, is it a DP problem? Like, is it something optimal? We have to try all all, all the cuts, something like that. Uh, maybe. Yeah, like it could happen. But if you see carefully, uh, it's not. Why? Because what we want to do, we want to minimize the cost. Is in a certain pattern. Is it beneficial that to make some particular edge first cut first and then later? What I mean by that is, let's say, let's say, let's say, what I do, did was, I make this four initially itself. So what's my board look like like this? And if you observe, now do you observe one thing, that this cut is lost. Now I don't need to make this cut anymore, but it's not with the rest of the things. Let's suppose, let's suppose, this is our original grid and we made a cut like this. We made a cut like this, right? Now, now if you see that the, our board breaks down into two big big pieces okay two horizontal pieces now firstly it was two vertical pieces now when i make i have to make a cut 
I have to make a cut here also. I have to cut here also. This means my vertical this cost will increase, right? Four four. It will also cost four. It will also cost four. So are you able to getting a hint that okay, what we're trying to do, what is happening, how it is affecting the order of cuts is happening, and how it is affecting the total cost, right? So is it better to make a big cost first? Why? Because it will completely rule out out of our cases. Now it won't come back again if we make a better cut initially. Means a higher cut if we made initially, then it will always be better because when we make it it won't we won't have to make this cut again that's the entire idea because if we if we make any smaller cut before then we have to eventually make the larger cut also because we have to make it because we have to make it n cross m square so each cut has to be made the important question is when right okay so what my greedy idea is the largest largest cost either it is either it is row or call does not matter why it does not matter because eventually again i already specified we have to make each row cut also each column cut also so it does not matter we have to minimize the cost so we want to minimize the pieces because see what is actually happening by the cut the the components are increasing either in the horizontal direction either in the vertical direction right that's the important thing and when we let's say i may cut this 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 two three times right let's say this this and this i this i i did four cuts but if you see then i have to make every time four 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 different pieces right and it's not good it's not good right so we don't need to do this so we always pick the largest cost thing now you will ask me question that what if there is ties here it's a tie and what do you do it does not matter since we have to make every cut you can pick anything the answer would remain same okay so i would go and i will show you the entire prior of the code that what i we are will trying to do we'll gonna be sorting it so if you think about that you can take an another array you can just uh, pull it up and then make an another array but it's not required why you can just Use the concept of merge two sorted arrays. That's a very good optimization here as well. Arrays. Okay. And then what are we gonna do? Uh this just in the decreasing order. That's the important thing. Okay. So let me make the cuts and then let me show you how it is happening. Okay. So I made a first cut here because this is largest. Okay. Now my grids look like I'll make the dimensions. Okay, so this dimension becomes you can say that initially the dimension was what? It was four cross six. The dimension becomes four cross five, and it becomes okay four cross. What happened? What happened? My vertical pieces becomes two. My horizontal piece is still one like i'm ca calculating the horizontal pieces and i'm calculating the vertical pieces okay how many ver vertical cuts i made until now and then this are horizontal we'll see how it matters okay this is the case right now what will i do again i told you that um, pick the maximum one then i'll pick this one okay then how my looks like so this looks like like this we cut this four cross five three cross five And then one cross five, and this remains same, right? This remains same. So this is four cross one. Now what happens? Our ho horizontal piece also increases. So our horizontal piece increases to two. Vertical piece increases to two. Now while we are calculating the cost, how much cost is required? Initially it was one one, right? Initially H is also one, and vertical piece was also one. Now when I am cutting it. Since initially it was an, we will use the previous H and V values. So the our cost is, is only four, right? When we come here, we made a horizontal cut again. There was only one horizontal before, so the cost becomes again eight only. 
just increased by four. Now we have this kind of scenario. Now what what cut we made? So basically we have three at the largest and not any competitor in the vertical uh, horizontal thing. So we'll make a cut of three. Okay. Also important that order just I have sorted at the index it does not matter right because we have to make eventually every cut so what we have to do is we will make a vertical now vertical cut now now let's observe what i'm trying to say okay i have to make a vertical cut see here i don't need to make it i hope you're getting it only horizontal pieces will be affected by that why because this is already been separated right this won't be contributing to our uh, vertical cut now now this i will make a cut here so it will be like, sorry, uh, yeah, vertical one at only, right? Yes. So it will be like this. Again, increases our one more vertical components here, right? So it will be like one cross, you can say uh, three, you can say that, right? One cross three. And this is what? Three cross three. And this is what? This is uh, this is a one cross two, not two. Oh yeah, two. And this is three cross two, three cross uh, three cross two. Yes, three cross two. And this won't be affected because you already co connected this time, right? Now, how much cost is required this time? Very important. Now, let's see what happens. We made a cut here. So basically, we have to cut make here also. And we have to make a cut here also. So this time, the cost will be cost equals to 8 plus 8 the previous cost until we have captured. Now, we made two horizontal cuts and the cost was 3. So it will be like 14. And will we go on like this? Okay, we'll make these cuts. We'll make this cut. That's gonna be happening. Now, what happens again? This our vertical cost is vertical uh, columns, or maybe you can say cuts is three. And until now, we have made two horizontal cuts, right? And we'll be going on again and again and completing this. I won't be going further because that will be complicated and will be overwhelming for you. But the basic idea, I hope it's clear. What is happening is when you make a vertical cut. Exactly, we are putting into two pieces, but the vertical cut, the while well, we are calculating the cost, it will be impacted by only horizontal cuts, right? How many horizontal cuts we have? Because see, this will be impacted, this will be impacted, this is the horizontal cuts. The vertical cuts won't be impacted by while calculating the cost. Yes, the vertical cuts will increase, but the cost will be impacted by only horizontal. Similarly, vice versa for horizontal, when we are making now, see, while you will make a horizontal cut now, it will be impacted. See, if you have multiple vertical cuts, right? It will be impacted by how many vertical cuts you have. It does not care about how many horizontal cuts you have, right? So that that is very important because it is separated out. It's in a particular block. Because when you make a cut, you will you will ask me, oh, this will affect this also. Then no, 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 no. Because why, 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 why? Because this is in the particular cut right it won't be affected by but that but vertically it's it will be all in always in everything so that is important i hope you are getting it cool so yes this was the entire thought process what i was did was and how we approach this question it's a beautiful question you should understand the problem you should understand this greedy idea don't think the about dp much and let's move to the solution right so what i did uh, firstly i sorted every vector in reverse order make sure that the size of x and y are actually m minus 1 and n minus 1 okay because they are actually given the grid size but we want the actual size of x and y and this was one less if you can see here right five but the columns are six cool then i initialize the same in the two more sorted array concept i j zero then I initialize horizontal cuts until now and vertical cuts until now, which is one, one, because initially we have one box, right? Cool. We did, didn't make any cut. Cool. Then what I will do, I will pick, since I'm using the concept of merge to sorted arrays, so whichever is the first, like we are maintaining indexes, right? Whichever is indexes is first, we'll pick that, so which is XI, let's say is larger. Tie, I already told you, does not matter. So XI is larger. That means what? XI is depend for the vertical cut. We'll make a cut 
vertically vertical pieces will be increases by one oh my my bad for the spelling but yeah pieces increases by one then what will happen but i already told you when we make a vertical cut the cost will be impacted by only the horizontal cuts so we made the horizontal cuts xi into h right the current cut cost the xi and the how many horizontal pieces until now we have so we have h horizontal pieces until now we increases the vertical cut we increases the i similarly when we go for horizontal cut we'll calculate how many vertical cuts we already have right because these will be impacted and then we will increase the horizontal cuts and we'll increase the j and then again as explained in the more sorted concept one this loop will run until one of the array got exhausted but the remaining two arrays are still remaining maybe this will work or maybe this will work right because one is exhausted one is remaining i don't know which one i wrote both the things whichever is the while loop will work will work and then is the same concept i just copied this thing again right is the same thing because now what happens is everything the remaining smaller elements remaining in a particular array and we're just calculating the corresponding answer to that and then we return the final answer so this is a beautiful question you understand the greedy idea how you implement it is also important how we thought about that the thought is important that okay me you have to make a first cut which is larger cost and then how you are calculating it is also very important that okay when you make a horizontal curve vertical is important when you are making a horizontal cut vertical is important vertical cut horizontal is important that's a good idea right i hope you like the solution if you like the solution make sure to hit the like button and also uh, subscribe to the channel give me the motivation to make more such awesome content for you and also do like the oi series as well cool then we'll see in the next video